deal with the devil you know or the devil you don't. Happening today, former President Trump will hold a rally in Allentown. News 8's Barbara Barr will be at the PPL Center for tonight's rally. The former president is expected to speak at 7 o'clock. If you ask me what I like about her, I guess I got no answer for her either. I saw a bunch of people. I didn't even know Trump was coming out here. And then I walked down. I was like, what the heck's going on? I found out Trump was here today. Say that? Well, we're on the podcast. But... <laughs> So who am I speaking with today? All right, my name is Noah. No, I'm from Bath, Pennsylvania, out here in Allentown today. I'm out uh, more township, so we're local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very local. Exactly. There you go. Yes, sir. So how's the vibe out here today? Oh, I love it, man. I've never seen a crowd this big. I was actually working at ADP today. I kept looking out the window, seeing the crowd get bigger and bigger. It was an awesome feeling, man. So you're voting for Trump? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And why is that? Um, well, it's a it's really not that hard of a contest. You know, I care about economic policy. I care about the direction this country's going. You know. I feel like a lot of guys that are my age really want to be able to like move up and start a family and like help their parents out and you know not just feeling this feeling of drowning economically you know we want to get some freedom back in this high country. interest rates exactly the border all that other yeah, stuff yeah i'd love to be able to buy a home you know that's i want that to be in the picture you know i want that to be a possibility now what don't you like about kamala uh i mean i don't trust her you know, i've never voted democrat um I just, I don't like the high interest rates. I don't like the economic policy. You know, I'd like to see jobs brought back to America. I'd like to see some tariffs put in place. You know, especially like the cars coming from China and stuff. I would like to see a lot of those jobs here. Just keep the money flowing in America. Is this your first time voting for Trump or your second time around? It'll be my second time. Second time? Yeah, yes sir. Right. Very good. Well, you seem yeah. like a, ha a happy-go-lucky guy. Now, can Kamala do anything to change your vote with seven days left? I don't think so, man. <laughs> no, a vote for me. I guarantee you, uh, low, low housing uh, and twenty-five grand. I think uh, she's been offering out, right? Yeah, I, I don't believe it, man. You know, like I definitely be willing to hear her out in some sort of like a long-form conversation. But I listened to the Trump podcast on Joe Rogan. Listened to him talk for three hours, and I don't disagree with a whole lot, man. I, I think that he's the one to do it right now in such a critical time. What do you? How do you feel about when you go on Google and you try to look up? the Trump Rogan podcast and you can't find it. Uh, I did hear that uh, YouTube was trying to block it. So I just saw today that Elon Musk put it out on Twitter for everyone to see. And, you know, since he runs Twitter, he's, he's not going to let any of that get blocked. So oh. the information should be free. It should be out there. And uh, I really think that X is the new main, mainstream media. Hey, how you guys doing? You guys want to do an interview? Uh, a podcast? Uh, yeah. Uh, what? Japanese, uh, Japanese. Go. All right, well, sounds good. Keep on smiling. Oh, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> sounds good. We're in Allentown today, just interviewing people with the Trump rally and with seven days left to election. How do you feel about everything? Well, um, I guess as long as uh, we can outbeat the, the opposition's uh, ballot total, you know, however that might happen, things look good. You think it's already been some cheating? Uh, well, <laughs> It seems like in 2020 there were some issues. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we uh, experienced something like that again. And what don't you like about Kamala? Well, maybe you should ask her. If you ask me what I like about her, I guess I got no answer for her either. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so what do you like about her? Well, um, people say she's dumb and all that, but she's really not that dumb if she got where she's at. That's a good point. So you know that much about her? Yeah. 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 Don't don't really have Now how about all the felonies that Trump has? He was like, how can you vote well, for a felon? You know, I think there's a lot of a lot of things that are loaded here. Um, so I, I think if everybody felt it wasn't loaded, they wouldn't back him. There's there's problems all over the place. So sure. you're out here at the Trump rally today? Yes, sir, I am. Oh very good. You like Trump? Yeah, I, I'm all right with him. He's all right with me. You know what I mean? Is he all right with you? Yeah, he's all right with Americans. Very good. So what don't you like about Kamala? What I don't like is that she talks... Say whatever you want. Is that she says that border control is she's going to deal with, but she's, you know, in a position that she could do something about it right now, and she's not. <laughs> so... She's been in for four years, she did nothing, now she's trying to tell you she's gonna do something. Yeah, she's gonna make a big change now. A huge change. <laughs> and, you <don't> <laughs> and you don't believe her? No, I'm a realist. Now, how do you feel about the other brothers? I just talked to a brother down there, uh -huh. and he said, how can anyone vote for this? 
for this uh, bigot and all that other shit. All right, so dig it, right? You can deal with the devil you know or the devil you don't. You feel me? If you tell me to my face that you don't like me, but you're going to hold it down, then I'm going to believe you because you told me to my face. That's where I stand with it. Yeah, you like how blunt Trump is. Yeah, sure to say. <laughs> sure to he, say? He could bite his tongue every fucking now and again, though. You know what I mean? He could, but <laughs> shit. Now, how do you We're feel? American. We're all blunt. Oh, right? yeah. Okay. Now, how do you feel about the women that are just voting for her because she's a woman? I don't even believe that there's women voting for her because she's a woman. <laughs> there's people that feel like that? Yes. We speak Where to all types of Where Americans and... We have Valley people, yep. It's amazing what Not we come across. Not the ones I know. That's the ones you know? <laughs> now, do you know a lot of other people like yourself that yeah, vote for Trump? Yeah, yeah. I deal with all like-minded individuals. Okay, how about you know anybody that voted Democrat four years ago and now they're not? Yeah, me. You? <laughs> there you go. So what do you like about Trump? Um, I like how he's not a politician. He's not a politician. He's got an exceptionally good track record. And he's everything the media... He's every, he is everything the media says he is not. So, and, you know, the world was a much more peaceful place during his last presidency. He's the last president to not start a foreign war since Jimmy Carter. Five Middle Eastern peace deal signed. The economy here was much better, which has a ripple effect across the entire Anglosphere. Just life was better under Trump. Now, how about the people that say, how can you vote for a felon? How do you feel about that? Well, I think Megyn Kelly kind of summed it up pretty well. She, she, I mean, she's got the legal mind, I don't. But mm. I don't, have you seen the video where she kind of goes through like how they were changing things to basically, they changed all the chess pieces to make sure that they got him. I did not see that. Oh, it's, it's really interesting. She sat on her stage and somebody asked, somebody asked her about, oh, but he's a felon. And she kind of basically goes, well, no, they did this and they did that and they did that. And then it resulted in this. Um, so, look, he's not killed anyone. Like, you know, at the end of the day, felon is a very broad term. You could commit a very minor crime that hurts no one, but technically that would make you a felon if you were caught and then convicted. I think that it's one of those things where they're making a mountain out of a molehill. So we're here in Allentown today, just talking to people at the Trump rally. And what brings you down here today? Yeah, so I was just uh, taking the bus up to the mall and then I hopped off and I saw a bunch of people. I didn't even know Trump was coming out here. And then I walked down and I was like, what the heck's going on? I found out Trump was here today, so yeah, just surprised. Are you a Trump guy? Uh, I, I, I prefer his views over Kamala's. So you'll be voting for him in seven days, I think it is? Most likely. Yeah. Now what can Kamala do to change your mind? Not much. Um, I'm personally a Christian and I have Christian values and uh, it's very, very different, you know, so I, I, I stand with Trump on what what his views are. Now, how about that he's a felon and people say you're voting for a felon? No, I just... Man, the media does everything they can to, to go after him. They're doing it for a reason, man. They're doing it for a reason. How about if he would try to overthrow the government again? Do you believe that happened? <laughs> no, I don't know, man. No. You think it's all a bunch of media spreading lies? Yeah, man. I mean, if you look at it, man, uh, I'll just be real, man. Uh, God's real, the devil's real, man, and, and and Trump has Christian values, man, and the devil's trying everything he can to, to attack him. So I'm telling you, uh, Jesus Christ is the truth, and Donald Trump is standing for Christian values, and Kamala Harris isn't. So that's that's what that's why the media is going after Trump so much. It's because it's just because of, it's because of the the enemy, man, the devil. So how do you feel what they're doing to our kids? It's messed up. It's messed up. As a you know? Christian, it's messed up. Yeah, I mean, like, how can you, you know, how can you, how can you decide what you, what you're gonna do to a kid when they can't even decide what they want to do themselves? I mean, they can't even decide if they want to get a tattoo or not. Yet you're gonna go changing their body and stuff. So you know, it's wrong. It's wrong. How do you feel about Kamala saying she's gonna give sex change operations? Did you see that? The prisoners? Uh, yeah, I just, you know. You know, we got to pray for everyone, including her, to, to turn, you know, and uh, turn away from sin and turn to Jesus. And But, yeah, that's wrong. That's that's absolutely wrong. That's wrong. Oh, nice. So you're a very holy guy? Hey, that's why you're smiling a nah, lot, I guess? Man, I just, I'm just, I just know, I just know the truth that, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And that, um, yeah, this, this, uh, man, we need Jesus, man. And that, 
like I said, Kamala's Kamala her her views are are not ideal for for what we need in this country. We need we need Trump to to uh, guide us towards Jesus, man. We really need Jesus. That's that's what we need. need Jesus. And here, Trump's going to be going by shortly, and uh, you know you watch the mainstream media. They say it's nothing but what white men going to be voting for Trump. This and that. That is not the case here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. With seven days left swing state it's looking if if you're a trump person it's looking pretty good and it's black white women men chinese all types of people are voting republican this time around i think people are fed up people are sick of it and uh yeah we we'll let the best man women win in the seven days left stay tuned how do you feel about the upcoming election um i'm nervous about it i'm not gonna lie i'm pretty scared for the future of our country for you know rights that are being infringed upon, I'm nervous. You're nervous? I am. So, what's where you're going to be voting? I'm voting for Kamala Harris. That's where I'm, my vote lies. And why is that? Because I don't support anything Donald Trump has to say, and although I may not, like, all of my views may not align with Kamala Harris's, none of my views align with Trump, and I, I wouldn't cast my vote for somebody who I don't agree with at all anyway. So it's nothing that Trump can do to change your mind? Nothing at all. No. So what did what did Kamala do? What did she ever accomplish? Well, that's where I'm. I'm like not... ever. What did she ever accomplish? I'm <laughs> not going to sit here and say I'm the most educated on okay. you know everything that either candidate has done. Um, I didn't even her running was a complete surprise. It was supposed to be Joe Biden. Um, so you know I'm again. She champions for women's rights, which is something that obviously as a woman is important to me. And honestly, more than anything, that's probably the most important issue on the ballot. And because it's the issue I care about the most, I'm not, I just can't support somebody who doesn't support women's rights like that. Now, how about the people that say Trump supports women's rights over Kamala? She's letting all these illegals in and illegals commit a lot of crime. A lot of women get commit a lot of crimes and Americans commit a lot of rape. So I don't feel it's fair to say that, you know, more crimes are being committed, you know, or illegals coming into our country, oh, they're committing all the crimes. Without them, there'd still be a significant amount of crime being committed. Yes, but do you, do you think that just more coming in is helping the situation? I can't say for certain, because I don't believe that every illegal that comes in is a criminal. I feel like a yeah. lot of them are families. They're just oh, they are. people that, you know, just like me and you, normal yeah. people. Um, so I can't sit here and talk on something that, you know, I, that would be assuming that a lot of illegals are criminals, and I, I don't know that. So, say one good thing about Donald Trump. He <laughs> Your friend's smiling. He speaks his mind. That's about the only good thing I can say. That's about. it. How about... Uh, safety, how about finance, how about cheaper gas, cheaper groceries? Okay, those things are, you know, it's nice to have cheaper groceries, it's nice to have cheaper gas, but I feel like to me, because I care less about money than I do about, you know, people and, you know, people that I care about their rights, like, I, those things aren't as important. I would, I find paying a little bit higher gas prices yeah. if it means that, you know, my friends can have their, you know, autonomy supported. Do you think it's odd that this only comes up every two or four years? What? Like this whole woman's rights thing? Right after this election, it's under the rug. I mean, I feel like that's with most things. Like people don't talk about anything important going on until it's time to vote for somebody who, you know, is supporting what they believe in. Um, so I don't think that's weird that people, you know, talk about it every election cycle. I feel like that's just what happens. That's now. what happens. Yeah. Now, where do you see the world if she gets in? <laughs> you just got, got a permanent grin back there. <laughs> I, I, I feel it being safer for people like me. I feel it being, you know, um, I don't know, not as... I don't know, this is the part that makes me nervous because I feel like no matter who wins, there's going to be, you know, I don't know, issues. Um, but I, I don't, as a black woman in America, I don't feel safe with people that have Trump's ideologies running the country. Now, how do you feel about the other black Americans that are voting for Trump? A lot of black men are voting for Trump because they feel disfranchised. Mm -hmm. A lot of black women I meet are voting for Trump. I have people in my family that are voting for Trump, and yeah. I don't 
see how um, somebody that you know upholds the I don't know views that he does on people of color. I don't know how they can feel comfortable voting for. You think Trump's like a racist? I believe he has racist tendencies. I've never met Donald Trump. I can't say you know what he is and is not. If you would meet him, would you give him a kiss? Oh my God, no! I wouldn't do that to any politician. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no. Um, but I just I wanted just, to make you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I don't. I don't know. I don't. So nothing he can do to change your mind. Kamala did not a lot of anything, but you're still voting for her because of the whole woman's rights. I'm, I'm, and not just the women's rights, but like I said, I don't agree with anything that Trump has to say. How about no wars? Does that bother you? Like the Democratic Party used to be for the working man and women, and they were the anti-war party. Now they seem like they're a little bit of war mongrels. I, mean, and I feel like America in general is like a go-to-war country. Like I feel like America supports war no matter who's. You know, I'm probably sounding too biased now for Trump, but Trump was one of only two presidents that never went to, never started a war in his term. Now we have Afghanistan that went through with him. I mean, like, like never started a war. Kamala also never started a war. Well, she so. hasn't been in office. Okay, so but the last. We can give her a chance to well start a he war. was with joe biden and we're in ukraine okay. and the palestine and we're funding all that so it's like if i'm fighting with your buddy and you give your buddy guns you're automatically connected to me i want to try to take you out because you give him guns to him i mean like <laughs> does it make sense it makes a little bit of sense but again yeah. like i i feel like America as a whole supports war, and so I have no control over what politicians do. I'm definitely not a Trump supporter. I am an independent voter in Pennsylvania, which is an important commonwealth. It is. And I'm here to, basically, I came because I work for Bethlehem Press, and I wanted to cover the Puerto Rican story because of last week and what happened um, at, at, the, at the rally where they, at the, um, where were they? They were in New York, Madison Square Garden. Yes. So the comment on Puerto Rican being an island of garbage. I wanted to myself report on that. And, uh, but what I found out from the police was that the, the Puerto Ricans that came out to, to protest or whatever about that got moved away from where they were going to meet. So I think they kind of got a little worried and they moved on and they, they didn't do it. Uh, there were like 30 of them that showed up, so I didn't cover that. But I'm still here. Yeah. Um, I have a lot of friends that are actually Trump supporters, and I just don't happen to be one of them. Um, as an independent, I am more interested in who the best candidate is, and I don't think it's him. I, I think he's very dangerous uh, with his mouth. His mouth gets us in trouble, you know? Maybe, maybe the policy could be okay. My friends like his policies. But his mouth gets us in trouble. So I won't vote for him. So you're going to vote for Kamala? I brought... I have this. You have that? And why are you voting for her? Well, um, because she's presidential. She, uh, she, she has an air about her that will gain respect for us. I'm hoping that we can come back together as a people to respect each other. And I'm worried about my grandchildren. I have a two and five year old, and I don't want them to know the likes of someone like Donald Trump and the things that he says and the bullying that he does. I, I want them to grow up with more prospect of a more positive outlook and how to treat each other. Okay. And we're not getting that from Donald Trump. Now, what did Kamala do? What did Kamala do in the last 30 year career? In the last what? 30 years of her life. Like, what does she, what does she accomplish? What does she accomplish? Well, yeah. she's, you know, she's been in a governing body. She's been the senator. She's been the attorney general of, California, of, her, of her town in California. What's she known for, though? Like, I don't know too much about her. Well, she's a vice president. What did she do then? What did she do? She, she took, she took, uh, she took on her position as vice president. She backs up the president. What do any vice presidents do? A lot of people say that. They they back now, up. Now she their... wasn't. Was she in charge of the border? No. No. She was not in charge of the border. 
She was not the border czar. She was never given that as a title. That was a po political title that was given to her by the other side. What she did was she was uh, the person that was supposed to facilitate what was going on in Venezuela or other countries on why people were coming here, what was wrong with their country, why were they coming here. Uh, that it's was the greatest nation in the world. That's why people want to come here. They, they want to come here because of that, but also you have to find out the root cause of why people need to flee their country and the dangers that are presented there and how to fix that. And that's what she was assigned to do. Not to go down to the border and be the border police or, or, or tell the police how to do their job. That was not her job. Do you think that America should get, a, should get involved in how other countries run their, their uh, country? Uh, well, whenever it concerns with immigrants coming to the border because they're so afraid to live in their country, like Haiti, what's happening in Haiti, and the fact that, you know, they're trying to make fun of Haitians that had to come here for, ref, you know, for, for a safe haven Do you think they live. eat cats and dogs? I do not. No? I do not. I mean, come on, that's bullshit. Yeah. And, and you know, they, 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 just like J.D. Vance said, J.D. Vance said that we make up stories and see if they'll stick. And they stick only because the media is it is the the, the 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 Trump follower media will not really tell the true stories because they are media that are trying to earn money and well and, it's all and money keeping, everything's finance keep, right of course yeah. and and keeping keeping their interest in making people be pissed off now do you think that comment that comedian made is going to hurt Trump you think some uh, Puerto Ricans were going to be voting for him. Now they heard that, which he didn't say that. So it's it's equivalent to you have a big party. Yeah. Some guy is at your party and he talks yeah. really stupid. Yeah. So, that so that's not your fault that, that he talks stupid. Obviously, it was unfortunate that that comment was made, but yeah. that comment was planned. He did not come off of that on the top of his head. And it was a really extremely stupid comment. It was very stupid. Yeah. And other things that he said, the sexual innuendos that he put out there. And so then you have to think about that. This was hours before Trump came on stage. This was probably, I think they said it was four hours before Trump actually came to stage. And Trump surely was briefed about this, that that was said. And he could have came out and, and mentioned it and mentioned to the Puerto Rican people that I'm, you know, hey, you know, this is not how I feel. You think he just said it as a joke, meaning that that little island is full of garbage, that little, not the people, but the island itself and the sewage systems full of crap and the whole electronics and everything over there. Well, when you think about how Trump has trashed other nations and, and that's what he loves to do is, is try to say in, in other words, the same thing about other nations? No, yeah. no. I believe it's an agenda, and I believe it's fear mongering. And I feel like, you know, since they're using the migrants and and the um, all of the influx of what is not really happening at the border anymore as much, you know, I, I think that they're using it that this is their agenda. I, it's so the 20 million so, people that came over doesn't scare you at all. The, all these illegals, the it was the biggest inflex in, in in immigration in a very very long time. Well, you think about it. I remember. Okay, because I watch I watch current events constantly, and I remember whenever Trump was in office, the same thing was happening. The same thing was happening. It's the it's the largest amount though. It, and when Trump left office, as soon as as soon as Biden Harris did get in. It did stop for a period of time. There was a period of time that it stopped. You know who deported the most immigrants? Who? Obama did. Well, that makes sense. Obama did. Well, you, you wouldn't know? think that though. Most people wouldn't think that. I remember that. Yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. So, you know. Is there anything Trump can do to get your vote? To take that Kamala sign and put a big T on it? Is there anything he can do? In seven days left. You know, I'm an independent voter. Okay, you're important. You're important. I'm, I'm one of those people. Yeah. Okay, that that is not Democratic leaning, and I would lean Republican if we had somebody more sensible, that 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 was decent, that had a decent thing coming out of his. You like mouth. his VP? Like God forbid. No. If, no. He, no. 
No. He's worse. What don't you like about him? He's worse. First of all, I don't think he has life experience. All right. Um, I, and I hate to say this, ageism stuff, but he's only my daughter's age. 39? Yeah. I'm 39. Uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Can, can you say, can you see yourself being well, the president a, of the United States? He is a very intelligent man. I mean, he was like, he's, he's very smart so on paper. You, you know, he was number two in his class, I believe. He came from a horrible childhood and he went to experience. an Ivy League. I mean, when you have a really bad childhood and you can persevere from that and you don't become a drug addict or a drunk, that's something to be said about that. Um, well, I'm, it really is. I, I, can, I can admire that yeah. in someone. Obviously, we all go through our struggles and tribulations some more than others mm -hmm. but he you know for me i feel like you need to have a little bit more life experience i'm sorry to say that but i would never want to see my daughter or my son-in-law run for president yeah. i love them to death so what's the In right 10 age years, maybe what's the right age everybody says trump biden's too damn old you say he's too young so what's the right age you think between 50 and 70 ish. 50 70, and 70. Almost, you know, 75 ish. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry to say well, that. We're going to be on the podcast. But. But. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> He's so happy. I think he had a lot of brewskis in him right there. Well, thank you for the interview.